Greetings all, Vanny here for Scorpio's weekly message. Scorpio it is also the 100th message that we have ever done together. The first card that came out for you is the vision. The mindset, the ideal, or the dream that we have held on to for so long. And perhaps this vision is changing, and that is allowed. <laughs> wow. You have the box. I kind of feel like that's, we're done with this one. I'm gonna, this is a new deck, so I'm still figuring out its energy and personality. But yeah, okay, no, you have the vision and the box. Well, this is a new deck. Like I said, it is the Wild Unknown Archetype. So I do actually, pardon, have to use the book a little bit for this one. But give me a moment to deduce what is being said here, my love. That is very interesting. So it is exactly what I thought when they first came out. Complete opposites. The vision and the box. The box is society, the rules, the confinements and constraints that we are born into to suppress our unconscious, to reject and redirect and say that anything mystical, magical, unknown, or incorporeal, thank you spirit, is just not real. That's not real. Don't pay attention to it. But you know in your heart that that's not true. You've held this vision this love this awareness for so long and there is there is quite the the battle that is going on here for scorpio but it's not a battle that lies outside of the self it is a battle that lies inside the self this oh this is like some deprogramming energy so someone is going to soon or has just made a very important decision to shift majorly the direction of their life one where they are not so confined in this box look at how many walls are blocking that brilliant beautiful light but conversely here when it is cared for how much it can expand when your love your passion your soul shine is cared for it expands instead of being confined you are not meant to be confined, live in one set of reality that has one thing that is supposed to make you happy. We are inherently different from each other. From me to you, all of the people that are watching this now, we are inherently different. What makes me happy will not make you happy. That's why this box is a trap. It is a prison that we live in that has always told us these are these specific things will make you happy the happiest day of your life is your wedding day the happiest day of your life is the day that your child is born why is our happiness set onto all of these individual things that do you notice always require other people always require this outside influence why can't we just be happy with ourselves that's because that will break the box that will shine on this vision and this vision is ever changing for everyone but it is what guides us it is what leads us out of this darkness and tells us that this is not where i want to be i am suffocating here i understand this energy scorpio this has been a huge battle of my own life and one that we have overcome together color outside the lines my love confidence is your key to success and it will come in time i'm seeing the um y'all know one of my favorite decks is the believe in your own magic deck and i'm seeing the girl sitting on the train with her sword on her purse and the swords on fire that sword has not manifested into physical life yet like it is in so many of the, the other cards in that deck but it is a starting point your confidence is your key to your success. Your confidence in like, yes, I am weird. Yes, what I want to make is not normal and it might be a bit of a struggle. But I will become a stronger person on the other side of that than if I was just going to be Jake from State Farm. A fiery climax is approaching. For a water sign, there is a lot of fire here. You have Meditate and Contemplate, one of the associating water signs, and did come out for you. 
The vision will require your meditation. The vision will require you to bring love into this situation. Even if that situation is just you, it could also be in, it could be physically your situation, the place that you are physically, what is around you. Per expect powerful changes. You have one full moon and three new moons and a new moon eclipse. Last night was a new moon. The energy is gaining momentum. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in your sign. It's gaining momentum. What you have been working on, what you have been dreaming, have faith in your dreams at the bottom of the deck. What you have been dreaming has been building momentum and energy in the background that you are unaware of. That is because you've held on to this vision. That is because you didn't give up and go back to the mainframe of that box. Because I'm I'm looking at that box and like my soul hurts. Almost everyone has either gotten the seer or the visionary today. And I absolutely love it. With an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. And working through this vision, following where it leads, does mean you have to listen to your intuition. Because that is where spirit speaks to you. That is where spirit directs you. It is the most clear and constant connection that we have to our higher selves. That part of us that is still connected to source consciousness. Because what is in this vessel is not the entirety of who we are. It is only a part of it. When you work with your intuition, you recognize what that word and, that, and what that image sounds like. You have a lot more of this power. The winged messenger, Hermes. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. And the shining star, glow. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. Dimming your light and creativity being paired right there next to each other. Are you a creative person? I wouldn't be surprised because you're a water sign. Water signs are very creative because they're very in the flow of energy and emotions. Your art might be strange. I'm just seeing like clay, mushroom, forest. Like it is inherently weird and different and it has a unique style to it, but it's yours. And as a creator of my own business with my own bracelets, I love you for this. Because if people always told me that I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, these things would not exist. I made this. I made these. You can make something beautiful that you are so proud of. Because, yes, it, it might be strange and not what traditionally someone looks at thinks when they look at something like that. But fuck tradition. Fuck that box. That's not where we want to be. That is not the future and the love that we are creating. This is so much more beautiful than a rigid, constrained, exhausted life. And that is exactly what that box puts us in. That is exactly what society as a whole puts us in. Because we are so powerful. And only in the last hundred years or so has that power been taken away. But guess what? We're taking it back now. Because we've seen time and time again that the people in power do not have our best interests at heart. And we have to take out our own. We have to take out our own power. We have to take back our own gifts. And find our own place. Because this 9 to 5 job where we're selling our lives is not working for us. Scorpio, find your own way. Find where you have to go to make your passion your every day. It will be hard. You will have battles with anxiety, with fear, with doubt, with shame, with second guessing yourself. I'm saying this as someone who's facing this every single day herself. But I'm still going. And I want you to, Scorpio. I really do. Also, if anyone here is actually starting their own businesses, please contact me on TikTok or Instagram or something. I have some pretty cool connections that might help. Have a beautiful day, Scorpio.